hello everyone welcome back i know i've been missing for a very long time but i'm okay i'm good we have a separate conversation about my absence right there's something i want to address really quickly uh i've noticed a pattern that all the emails i'm getting i know i'm not quite good with i'm not quite good responding to my emails but i do respond to some of them and it's like this three days fast is kind of competition. Everybody want to do three days fast because if you had it, babe, three days fast is not a competition. Trust me. Let me reframe something in the Bible to you. When you read the book of Daniel chapter 10, Daniel had a mission of doing that uh, ten, uh, 21 days fast because he's prayed to God. His answer came but the king of Persia, a demonic power, held on to his, his prayer. So he has to fast to get answers to his prayers. When you read the book of um, Matthew chapter 4, Jesus Christ was embanked on 30 day, uh, 40 days fast. Apologies. 40 days and 40 nights fast. I know the mission for that. To save the world. He was going to die to save all of us. And when you read the whole chapter, after that fast, he started doing signs and wonders. He started doing a lot of miracles, right? When you read the book of Esther, chapter 4, I believe, from verse 16, but I'll personally advise you to read the whole of Esther, chapter 4. Then you understand the whole storyline. Uh, Haman wanted to kill the whole of the Jews because Mordecai, who was at the gate or the security man, refused to give him honor, refused to respect him. So therefore, he developed hatred for him and the Jews, and he planned to destroy Haman and the entire Jewish community. So Mordecai sent the message across to Esther, or Esther heard about it, and Esther called for a three days fast. When you read Esther chapter 4, the 16 to 17, Esther commanded that he do three days fast, dry, right? So there is a purpose for every fast. Again, when you read the book of Daniel chapter, I think chapter one, when the king, I think, um, Nebuchadnezzar, was serving a meat, a polluted meat, and Daniel didn't want to um, contaminate or defy his spirit he refused to eat that meat and the, and, and the drink said he said they should give him pulse and water and that's what he's going to live on and his skin his flesh was glowing that those that ate that so if you read the book of the whole book of uh, Daniel 1 you understand that storyline too properly so please three days fast is not a competition I'm begging please I'm begging do your fast have a purpose while you're doing the fast listen in my past i crossed path with a very satanic demonic person who is fighting me and has never stopped fighting me this person is doing anything and everything he could possibly do to bring me down but man will be god who he is not god he can't bring me down he did not make me i, I was in the world i made a mistake and i had a, a, a cross path with him and that's something that I'm praying that the end will surely come right I do my fast for so many reasons guys if you carry an unction if you carry a gift it's not going to be an easy battle for you all these our um, um, women of God that we look up to Cindy Trim, Sarah Jakes Roberts um, um, who else who else who else um, Sheila all those big women that I look up to they all have their cross that they are carrying. They all have something that they are fighting, right? Everybody has something that they are fighting. So long as you want to tell the truth, you want to go deep into the spiritual things, the enemy is not going to let you be free. So please, do what your heart calls you to do. You can do one day fast and you have an answer. You know what you are dealing with. You know the battles you are facing. You know what keeps you awake at night. You know how you wet your pillows overnight. So do what is for you. Don't do what Sophia is doing. Sophia will only lead the path, tell you this is what I did, this is what I did, this is what I did. But truth be told, it is you and your God. It is a connection and um, your rapport, your, 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 what's the right word? I want to use the word, your, your connection with God, your, your, your spiritual relationship with God. It's not everything that I do that you have to do. We all carry this different anointing, different gifts. So guys, please bear in mind that you are you, I am me. Do what your soul or your spirit calls you to do.
in every fast you want to do you know the purpose you know what you're looking for so please stay on to that okay i love you see you soon